Today, we're going to make a pair of DNA earrings. You'll need needle nose pliers, flat nose pliers, wire cutters, four head pins, 20 seed beads of one color, 20 seed beads of another color, 18 bugle beads about a centimeter long. Once again, it's always good to have extras. A couple of earring posts and one spool of 24 gauge craft wire. Okay, we're gonna go one earring at a time. Start off with two of your head pins, and you're gonna thread it on with one color, then the other, and you're gonna keep alternating for five beads for each pin. five of each color on each pin. When you do the other pins, make sure that the pattern keeps. In other words, if you start with a blue and then you go to a purple, then you keep starting with blue and going to purple on each one so that the bottom bead is always the same color. Okay, now you're going to take your needle nose pliers and your posts. You're going to take the end and just twist it around. So you have a nice loop. Take your earring post and thread it through the loop. Now, do this with another post. And you thread it through this one. You thread it through the post, but you also want it to go through the other loop. And then you tighten them down. Okay, for the next part, you're going to take your craft wire and you're going to cut off just a small piece. Then, you're going to take your needle nose, grab the very end, and twist it tightly around so that it makes a nice loop, but do not close the loop. You want to leave a little gap. Then, you take your earring, and between the first two beads, the top two beads, you're going to hook that little bit. you're going to use your flat nose pliers to close the loop. Like so.
now. Take one of your bugle beads and slide it down this wire. Then, bridge the wire across so that it's between the same two beads on the other side. And bend it around. The tighter you do it, the cleaner it's going to look. Then you trim off the part that's sticking out. Straighten it out and you've got your first link. Now. You're going to repeat this between each set of beads. Okay, now once you've gotten all the middle slots filled in, comes the easy part. Take it, and you twist it. Careful not to twist too hard or you could break some of the glass beads and then you're going to have to remake it. But, you want to twist the top and the bottom like so. Twist this around to give it a little bit of room. And you have yourself one DNA earring. Now just repeat this process for the other side and you'll have yourself a pair.